Inside, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to the Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural and nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we love success stories. If you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about the longevity products, please give us a call at 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. Try to call early so we can get to as many calls as possible. Hate leaving people on hold and hate leaving people on the line at the end of the program. So please call in early at 855-660-4261. If you want to learn more about the longevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. You can start your own business, earn thank you checks, help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. Get your products at the wholesale price. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. And of course, make some money while you're doing it as well. 866-735-2470 is the number for the Brightside Ben team. If you sign up, I am glad to help you build your business. We can do three-way phone calls. I can come out and help you do presentations. I love going out to visit folks and doing presentations and help spreading the word. And of course, I can help you build your business while I'm doing it. That's 866 735 2470, or you can head over to brightsideben.com. That's my website. Click on the Join the Team link, and somebody will get back to you with information. You can also order any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about on the program on brightsideben.com. Also, want to remind you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, and also please join us on our phone conversations. We're doing Sunday phone conversations with my friend Dixie. Sedgwick, the dial-in number every Sunday at 6 o'clock Mountain Time is 559-726-1300, 559-726-1300, and the access code is 455-987-POUND, 455-987-POUND. Yesterday we talked about the thyroid and the Healthy Start Pack. Uh, last week we talked about weight loss. I think we're going to do adrenal fatigue this uh, Sunday. It gives me an opportunity to talk more in depth. Uh, then I get to talk on this program every day. So uh, you're going to want to tune into that. At, uh, uh, that's next Sunday, every Sunday, 6 o'clock, Mountain Time, 559-726-1300, access code 455-987-POUND. Okay, let's see. Uh, tomorrow we're going to talk to Sonia Barrett, the author of the book Health, an Inside Job, and she's got a lot of stuff to say about the uh, health crisis and the health scandal and the nature of disease and... and uh, some alternative health ideas. She's one of my favorite authors, Sonia Barrett, B-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Her book is Health, an Inside Job. We'll be talking to Sonia tomorrow. 
Okay, so we are talking about the super amino acid arginine. We're talking liver health, and not surprisingly, arginine and liver health are connected. Arginine is a major detox amino acid. It's a major liver health amino acid. It's been used to treat liver injury. It can help improve blood flow to the liver. It can improve the symptoms of fatty liver disease. If you're one of the 100 million Americans who are dealing with fatty liver disease, in addition to using arginine, there's a lot of non-doctor and non-medical strategies that you can use to improve the health of the liver. By the way, there's also an important relationship between cholesterol and statin drugs and arginine, which we'll be talking about here in a second. So what do you do to improve liver health? It's simple. First of all, change the way we eat. The liver is a digestive organ. Changing the way we eat, a simple strategy, just eating less food. It's always a good idea to eat less food. It's always a good idea to eat dramatically less sugar. The liver, in addition to being a digestive organ, is also a sugar processing organ. This is so important because the liver is where point one on our triangle of disease becomes point two on our triangle of disease. The triangle of disease is the digestive system, which breaks down first, then the blood sugar system, and uh, which breaks down second, and then the adrenal thyroid complex, which breaks down third. And from there, all disease shows up, which means, as we said so many times on this program, if you're dealing with heart disease, if you're dealing with skin issues, if you're dealing with eye health issues, macular degeneration or glaucoma or cataracts, if you're dealing with autoimmune problems, if you're dealing with cancer, if you have high blood pressure, no matter what it is, backtrack, work backwards to the adrenal, uh, the thyroid and the adrenal glands, the blood sugar system and the digestive system. The liver is the jumping off point between point A and point B, the digestive system and the blood sugar system. The liver does both. It helps us process our food and it helps us process sugar. So eating less sugar, eating less food. You can use probiotics. There's also a very important relationship between liver health and good bacteria. Eating fermented foods, using digestive enzymes, supporting fat metabolism. These are all for any kind of liver health issue, whether it's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, so-called NAFLD, now they're calling it NASH, or whether you have hepatitis hepatitis or if you're on a prescription drug or if you just want to keep your liver healthy. Support fat metabolism. Use bile salts. Use magnesium. Use the ultimate selenium. Make sure you're taking zinc. One of my all-time favorite liver support supplements is NAC. It's emergency room, pro part of the emergency room protocol for living liver poisoning. Don't forget about vitamin C, the primal panacea, very, very important for the health of the liver. So is vitamin A, so is vitamin E. Take 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day, 400 international units of vitamin E. You can use either the tocopherol form or the deluxe premium tocotrienol form, which is a little harder to find and a little bit more expensive. And then there is arginine, super amino acid, as I call it. Arginine can be very helpful for the liver. As I said earlier, arginine can be used medicinally to treat liver disease in an article that was published in the journal Nutrition. Researchers showed that oral supplements of arginine significantly improved liver function in acute liver poisoning. Of course, this makes perfect sense because arginine is a healing amino acid. It's a wound healing and an anti-trauma amino acid. It's not so much that arginine is specific for the liver, although it does have some liver support properties because it's a detox amino acid. It's more like arginine is important for tissue regeneration and post-traumatic healing of all kinds, burns, wounds, surgery, scrapes, any kind of wounding or, or broken tissue or any kind of injury can benefit from arginine supplementation. Then there's a very, very important relationship between arginine, the liver, and cholesterol. I'll talk, tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Our number is 855-660-4261, and we do have lines open for you. We're coming back at you right after this with more good health information. Don't go away. I'm Farm Spen. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you like what you hear, tell your friends. You can always head over to brightsideben.com. If you miss a program or if you want to review a program, they're all up at brightsideben.com. We've got going on, gosh, I think almost four years of programs up at brightsideben.com. You'll also find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products, including the Beyond Organic products. I'm sipping on my Swero V Cultured Whey beverage as we speak. 
I think I'm going to get the plain swear of next time. This one's a, the citrus is what I'm drinking now. It's a little on the sweet side for me. The uh, Amasai is also very delicious. It comes in different flavors. There's also the probiotic enriched cheese. We're going to have Jordan Rubin on the program next week. Tomorrow we're going to talk to Sonia Barrett about her book, Health and Inside Job. Sonia is a friend as well as a wonderful author, one of my favorite authors. She's got some really cool books, kind of weird sort of books that she writes. And she's kind of a little bit of a strange woman, but very cool. And uh, we'll talk to her tomorrow about her book, Health and Inside Job. That'll be tomorrow on the bright side. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number today. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls, and we will take your calls here in our next segment. Try to get on board early so we can squeeze, squeeze in as many calls as possible, 855-660-4261. If you're interested in joining, joining me in our webinars, we're doing uh, phone webinars every Sunday, 6 o'clock Mountain Time. 6 p.m. Mountain Time. The dial-in number is 559-726-1300. Our access code is 455-987-POUND. Yesterday we talked about the thyroid as well as the Healthy Start Pack. And next week we're going to talk about adrenal fatigue. If you're interested in checking out my YouTube videos that I'm doing with Amanda Rideout on skincare, Amanda Rideout Health Coach, we do them every week. And uh, you, can, you can Google search them, Amanda Rideout or Pharmacist Ben. Uh, and then you can also uh, get on a list. We'll send out email links once a week as we do these, as we post these YouTubes. You can uh, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and we'll put you on the list and we'll get you links every week. And we talk about various skincare topics. Last one we did was on vitamins D and E for the skin. And uh, the next program will be on a few other miscellaneous nutrients for the skin as well. So send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Okay, so there's a really important relationship between arginine and cholesterol, arginine in the liver and cholesterol. And if you're on a statin drug, there's also an interesting relationship between arginine and statin drugs. As you know, from listening to this program or listening to my presentations or anything I've done on the Internet, statin drugs are, in my opinion, a way more significant toxic and health concern than cholesterol ever was or ever will be. The idea of using a liver poison, that's what a statin drug is. Make no mistake about it. A statin drug is a liver toxin. This is why you have to have your liver checked when you're on a statin drug. That alone should tell you something about the insidious nature of a statin drug and really all prescription drugs. Statin drugs are toxic to the liver and you got to have your liver checked every six months or so. And if you have to have your liver checked every six months because you're taking a prescription drug, that's a prescription drug you probably don't want to take. The idea of using what is, in essence, a toxin, a poison, a liver poison, to lower the body's ability to manufacture what is probably the most, if not one of the most, the most important chemical of all the biochemicals in the body. This idea of poisoning the liver to suppress the production of this vital, incredibly, incredibly critical chemical cholesterol is a textbook example of the lunacy, the utter ridiculousness, the stupidity, the, the insidious nastiness of the pharmaco, pharmacomedical model. Cholesterol is a precursor to hormones. It's a building block to hormones, especially hormones that help us handle stress, especially hormones that help us build, especially hormones that help us grow and repair. Cholesterol is a raw material building block for the hormones of life to suppress the production of this incredibly vital molecule is just nuts. Elevated blood cholesterol should first and foremost be regarded as a body that is in stress mode or in building mode or perhaps both. The body thinks it's under stress or thinks it's building, so it'll upregulate cholesterol manufacturing in an attempt to provide raw materials for the hormones, of, the hormones that help us withstand stress and help us build. That's why cholesterol goes up. The body thinks it's in building mode or the body's in some kind of stress mode. When you realize the nature of cholesterol as a raw material for the production of these chemicals, the chemicals that help us withstand the stresses of life and the hormones that initiate building and growth and repair, it becomes obvious how idiotic, or even worse, how nasty and sneaky and rude and insidious the pharmacomedical model is that promotes blocking and suppressing the production of this ridiculously, unspeakably important molecule. Shutting down cholesterol, shutting down the production of cholesterol at the level of the liver, 
deprives cells of the raw materials they need to withstand the ups and downs and the stresses of life in a healthy and productive and divinely mandated fashion. If you wanted to intentionally suppress an organism's ability to grow big and strong and tough and robust and to be able to withstand the stresses of life in a, in a healthy and effective fashion, you couldn't pick a better strategy than to poison cholesterol manufacturing machinery. You tell that to the next medical professional who tells you that you need to lower your blood cholesterol. You couldn't pick a more perfect strategy for suppressing your ability to withstand the stresses of life, for suppressing your body's ability to grow and recover and repair than to shut down cholesterol manufacturing. And you tell that to the next doctor uh, who, su who suggests that you need to be on a toxin statin drug, toxic statin drug because your cholesterol level is high. If you're interested in learning more, by the way, about this great cholesterol con, which has been perpetuated on uh, the innocent American public by the pharmacomedical model and their lackeys, the Walgreens of the world. Check out Dr. Wallach the next time he's in your town. I saw Dr. Wallach a couple weeks ago, and Dr. Wallach will probably be in your town sometime soon. He does 300 or so gigs a year. Check out Dr. Wallach and his talk. I went to see him here in Denver a couple weeks ago, and he broke it down so simply and so elegantly. The best I'd ever heard. It was the best talk. I've seen Dr. Wallach uh, dozens and t dozens of times, and this was by far his most, in my opinion anyway, his most enlightening and his, his, his best presentation. Anyway, he broke it down in uh, this whole cholesterol con, as I call it. He broke it down in terms of the food companies and the vegetable oil companies, what I call the Criscoization, the Criscoization of the food supply, which began at the turn of the 20th century when we basically figured out how to synthesize fats, how to make fat artificially. Crisco, by the way, has a really interesting history. It was first invented around the time of the Civil War, believe it or not, around the 1860s by a couple of candle makers. It was first developed as a, as a, uh, a, a tallow or a, a lard replacement for candles by a couple of candle makers named William Proctor and James Gamble. Heard of those guys? William Proctor and James Gamble, as in Proctor and Gamble. And these two guys were candle makers in the, during the Civil War, uh, the 1860s or so, and uh, they, were, they figured out how to, make crisp, how to make vegetable oil solid, and they were using it to make candles. And then after electricity came around in the 1880s, I guess Procter & Gamble saw the writing on the wall as far as candles go, uh, were concerned, and they decided to market their invention as a cheap replacement for lard. And this was in the days when temperance and vegetarianism and fasting and other health strategies slash fads were starting to get popular. Kellogg's was beginning his, his cereal empire, and uh, he had a, the, the Kellogg Sanitarium in Battle Creek was a very popular place for people to go to. There was a clockmaker named Phineas Quimby who was promoting mental healing and cosmetics and skin products. We're entering into the marketplace. Hang tight. We'll finish this up when we come back from our break. And take your phone calls as well. 855-660-4261 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. This is The Bright Side, and we'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number today is 855-660-4261. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. I want to finish this little history of... You know what? I think we'll talk about... We'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll finish up uh, talking about Crisco and uh, the history of Crisco. Got a really, really fascinating uh, history associated with it. And there's also a relationship, believe it or not, probably uh, to be expected, between heart disease and Crisco and Procter and & Gamble and the so-called lipid hypothesis, the idea that saturated fats are bad for you and you've got to stay away from butter and cheese. There's actually a, a really neat book that talks all about this Procter & Gamble and Criscoization of the Food Supply. It's called The Big Fat Surprise by Nina Teicholz. I'm trying to get her on the program. Uh, her book is The Big Fat Surprise, Why Butter, Meat, and Cheese Belong in a Healthy Diet. Nina Teicholz, T-E-I-C-H-O-L-Z, and she goes over this whole story about how Procter & Gamble and Crisco and Ansel Keys and the Lipid Hypothesis and the epidemic of heart disease, which was unheard of at the time of Crisco, or relatively unheard of at the time of Crisco, and is now the leading cause of death. Uh, Nina Teicholz goes into how all of this is related. We'll continue talking about arginine and liver health and statin drugs and cholesterol and the Criscoization of the food supply on our next Bright Side episode. Tomorrow we'll also talk to Sonia Barrett about her book, Health, an Inside Job. You can get the book on Kindle. I bought mine on Kindle. You can also get it on Amazon.com, Health and Inside Job. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. 
We want to hear from you, from you today if you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs. If you want to join the Brightside Bend, phone, uh, Brightside Bend team, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the team. And you can also purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program by calling the Brightside Bend team at 866-735-2470 or heading over to my website, brightsidebend.com. Okay, time for our first phone call of the day. Cindy in Virginia, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, um, I listened to you last night. It was very, very good. Oh, thank you. Um, Where, and I, <laughs> are you in? A, are you in my downline or in Dixie's downline? Um, uh, no, Dixie has my telephone number. I actually spoke with you last week, um, and you wanted to communicate with me. I do not have a computer. Did we talk you? on the? I spoke to you on the air. I spoke to you on the phone. You spoke to me. I have a phone. We were on the air because it was okay. your radio program last week. Okay. Um, I'm beginning to learn what's happening to me. Good for you. Um, Good for and, you. And um, if Dixie, you and I can have a conference, maybe I can learn more for me. Um, I'm concerned about my mother. Okay. okay. What's up? She's, Talk to she's 87. She has a lot of conditions already that I can tell from Dr. Wallach's book and what you described. She has them. She has glaucoma. Okay. She was diagnosed with it in 1974, I think. Okay. Um, she's had surgery last year because her okay. eye pressure was too high. Okay. She's been putting in those drops for years. Okay. And um, suddenly, like eight months later when she went, the doctor told her her eye pressure was not down enough. So she is scheduled to have surgery, you know, whatever they do, um, July 14th. And I wanted to know if you could help me try because all of this is new to me and it's okay. very new to her. Good. My Good. dad this... was a physician, okay, so she's oh, coming great. from a total medical model. Got it. Um, I just wondered what you might have me tell her. I'll tell you. I'll so... give you the whole scoop on glaucoma. One okay. of the princi- one of the princi- and thanks for thanks for your uh, your question and your call as well. One of the principles of the bright side philosophy, and I talked about this yesterday on the phone call a little bit. Is that we don't want to go, we don't want to get confused by our various symptoms. The body breaks down in various ways, but it breaks down from a few basic causes. So glaucoma and skin problems and, and uh, autoimmune diseases and whatever our health conditions are, they, they represent leaves on a tree. I said this yesterday on the show. I probably said this a lot on, on, or I said this yesterday on the call. I probably said this a lot on the show as well. You want to think of your symptomology as leaves on a tree. Now, a tree is made up of two, of three main parts. It's got the leaves, it's got the trunk, and it's got the roots. The leaves are the end. They're the end product of what's occurring at the root level, what's occurring in the ground and the root. If your leaves are mottled and your leaves aren't growing appropriately, the way you take care of the problem is not by spraying medicine on the leaves. By the time you see the problem on the leaves, it's over. The issue is in the soil and it's in the roots. So glaucoma represents leaves. What is the what is the leaf? What is the uh, a root and the and the soil like when you have glaucoma? It's toxic and it's suffocated and it is starved. And the suffocation and toxification and starvation leads ultimately to an inf- uh, uh, inflammatory problem, and from there all disease arises. Now, in in terms of the tree, you don't have inflammation, but you have some kind of some kind of something that's preventing the leaves from getting nourished, whether it's oxygen or or whether it's uh, whether it's uh, nutrition or whether it's toxicity. Likewise, in the body, by the time you see a symptom, what you're dealing with is the, the leaf, the end result. The problem is in the root. Does that make sense so far, ma'am? Yes, it does. Okay. So what is the root cause of glaucoma or anything else? Well, behind all degenerative disease, you find cells that are not doing their work. And we'll use your, your case of glaucoma. Glaucoma is caused by a, a, break, a broken down valve in the eye. There are valves in the eye that open up and fluid leaks out, uh, drains out of the eye, and that's how pressure is controlled. When you have an infl- uh, inflammation of the cells, the microscopic cells that line that valve, that valve does not function appropriately. The fluid doesn't drain, and the fluid builds up, and that's what causes glaucoma. So far, so good? Yes. Okay, so glaucoma is the manifestation of some kind of cellular defect of the cells of the valve, the valve that opens up, uh, that opens and closes to drain fluids. What causes inflammation of cells? Well, what causes inflammation of cells of that valve are the same thing that causes inflammation of any cells, starvation, suffocation, and toxification. The most important, uh, well, suffocation is real easy. That just means you got to start oxygenating, and deep breathing techniques are always something you want to do, no matter what what your health challenge is, sitting down on the couch and practicing slow, deep breathing. Super important if you have, uh, if your mom or uh, if you have
have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can get an app called My Calm Beat or Bio Breathing. Please do not underestimate the importance of slow, deep breathing. You can test how effective this is for yourself just by taking your blood pressure at a baseline level, uh, practicing slow, deep breathing or doing some slow, deep breathing for two or three minutes, taking your blood pressure again, and you'll notice your blood pressure drops. And this is a, a visible manifestation of all of the biochemical changes, the beneficial biochemical changes that are occurring inside the body. So number one, slow, deep breathing. Number two, you got to eliminate toxification. And there's a couple sources of toxification. The most important sources of toxins in the body are going to come in through foods, and I'll tell you about how you handle that in a moment. But another very important form of toxification is blood sugar. And every diabetic knows that glaucoma and eye problems and blood sugar issues go hand in hand. I'm guessing your mom's probably in her 70s, right? 70s or 80s, she's, correct? She's, she's 87. Okay, so she's 87. Guaranteed, she's got some blood sugar problems. Unless she's been understanding her biochemistry and taking care of her body for her whole life, it's impossible not to have blood sugar issues at the age of 87. They may be mild and she may not know, or they may be severe. She may be a diabetic. Is she any, any blood no, sugar issues? She doesn't have blood sugar issues. I'm the type one. She's not. No, you don't know. She doesn't have blood sugar issues. You're probably going I don't by, know whether she does or not, but. You, you know. can rest assured she does, and you want to treat okay. her. You want to treat her as, as, as if she did. And that, okay. means, that means all the blood sugar things. That means get on the sweeties for longevity. That is chromium and vanadium, very important for blood sugar control. Magnesium, superstar mineral, probably. Probably next to mag next to chromium or, or alongside ma uh, chromium and vanadium, magnesium is also very important for blood sugar control. You can get magnesium in a couple of longevity products, the Osteomag, as well as the OsteoFX. Around a thousand to two thousand milligrams of magnesium a day is a good place to be. And magnesium is a wonderful multifunctional mineral anyway, so she's going to benefit in a lot of different fashions by using magnesium. There's there's tons more. Hang tight because I want to I really want to get to the to the core of this. So don't go away, Cindy. And if you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you. When we come back from our break as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open for you, 855-660-4261. We're talking to Cindy in Virginia. Cindy, are you there, ma'am? Here. Okay, so glaucoma and diabetes and blood sugar go hand in hand. Uh, it's caused by a, a clogged up canal. They call it the canal of Schlem. That's the technical name for this kind of this uh, opening in the eye that drains fluid out. Uh, as that area, the, uh, I think if there's a little valve that opens and closes, as that area gets clogged up and, uh, and inflamed at the cell level, fluid doesn't drain, fluid builds up. That's called glaucoma. So what do you do? Well, first of all, the most important thing to do whenever you have any kind of degenerative disease, Disease, and that's what glaucoma is, is you want to start practicing slow, deep breathing techniques. Slow, deep breathing helps oxygenate the body. Oxygen is very important for the, not only for health and for recovery, but also for, for um, uh, uh, stabilizing or reducing the output of stress hormones from the adrenal gland, which can compromise glaucoma and all health conditions. So don't underestimate the importance of slow, deep breathing and always focus on the exhale, which is where toxins are eliminated out of the body. The second thing, because glaucoma and, and blood sugar issues go hand hand in hand is you want to start stabilizing the blood sugar. The Sweeties from Longevity is awesome. So is magnesium. Uh, Osteomag and OsteoFX will help stabilize blood sugar. Zinc is also very important for blood sugar issues. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Vitamin A is helpful for blood sugar issues. And then also, of course, eating less sugar. And that means, uh, that means uh, bread and pasta and rice and potatoes, things that we don't ordinarily consider to be sugar or think of as sugar, they get broken down as sugar and they can exacerbate blood sugar issues. Uh, uh, drinking water, drinking a lot of water after you eat these kinds of foods is also helpful. That can help dilute the blood sugar, as, especially first thing in the morning. The Healthy Start Pack goes without saying. That can give your mom some of the basic nutrients, especially the water-soluble nutrients, which many people are deficient in. As we, uh, as we get older, we tend to be deficient in these water-soluble nutrients. And then also, uh, just our day-to-day -day life, we tend to be deficient in water-soluble nutrients if we're not replacing them after we urinate. And then last but most certainly not least, in fact, I sh this is probably first, it's correct digestive issues. In addition to blood sugar problems, in addition to uh, toxicity in the blood from sugar, toxicity in the blood from incompletely or poorly processed foods is a big problem with all eye health issues, including glaucoma, with all degenerative disease issues. Uh, use the ultimate enzymes after meal. Have your mom use the ultimate enzymes after meal, after meals, as well as digestive enzymes. I consider the BioLumin Nightly Essence to be part of the Mighty 90 as important as the Mighty 90, even though we don't consider them to be part of the Mighty 90 
essential nutrients, I consider them to be as important. They're almost like a panacea for all digestive health issues at the age of 87. It's very unlikely that your mom's digestive system, uh, digestive system is operating pristinely. So using probiotics, the uh, bioluminitely essence, and maybe even some of these new bi uh, beyond organic products might be helpful for your mom. Uh, and then the Z-Radical is also very good for all digestive health issues. Using apple cider vinegar after meals can help. I like lecithin as a digestive aid. You can get lecithin at a health food store. Uh, you may want to try sunflower lecithin as opposed to soy lecithin, but either way. Uh, and then also bile salts, B-I-L-E, they can support digestive health as well as pepsin. Uh, and hydrochloric acid, both they, they, they will come together and you can get that at a health food store. And then also, as I said earlier, making sure if she's got any foods that are causing any digestive distress, constipation, loose stools, heartburn, uh, any of those kinds of things, uh, those are foods that need to be eliminated. Now, all of this is going to take a little bit of time, uh, but she should start it to, in terms of the glaucoma, but she should start noticing overall health benefits, more energy, uh, uh, better better digestive kinds of symptoms, better bowel movements, just general improvement in, oh, in health symptoms. She should start noticing results within one or two days of getting on this kind of program. One or two days. It won't take very long, especially the digestive support. As far as the glaucoma goes, that might take a little bit longer for her to start to notice results. But it's more than just glaucoma, Cindy. It's her whole body that we want to take care of, not just the eyes, not just the canal of Schlem, not just the inflammation that's causing the glaucoma, but the entire body as a system and everything I just told you is going to do just that. Does that help you, ma'am? Uh, yeah, it does. Is that why I'm still doing the bone soup and I learned about the apple cider vinegar from you and somebody else and Dr. Wallach's thing? So she needs to start doing that too? Oh, heck yes. That would be awesome. And put a little apple cider vinegar in the bone soup. Oh, because in that soup. In the soup, that will help dissolve the cartilage off the off the bones, and you'll get more you'll get more of the uh, immune immune building and bodybuilding benefits from that cartilage substance. Okay. Yeah, thank you thank, very, very much. Thank you. God bless. Have a beautiful day, ma'am. I hope that, that works out. Joan in Texas, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on, ma'am? Hi, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Thanks um, for calling. I, I have developed a, a rash at the base of my head. Okay. It's itchy. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure how to get rid of it or what's going on okay, in my body. Okay. Now, you probably can't see the rash, but if you have you looked at it? Can you see it in the mirror or can somebody else you, see it for you? You can. Yeah, and, it and the, it's itchy. I scratch it, and it is red. Okay, red. is it on the very... What you want to do is see if... Well, I'll tell you how you take care of it in a couple ways, but one of the things you want to do is you want to see if it's deep or if it's surface. If it's on the surface, uh, you can. there's a lot of things you could do topically. If it's deep, there's some things that you're going to want to do internally. Your lymphatic okay. system... Your lymph system is like a circulatory system for poisons. It's like a sewage system, and it's how poisons okay. are, are drained out of the body. And there's a little concentration of lymph in that area that you're describing. So it wouldn't be unusual for you to have a reaction there. Uh, so a couple things that you might want to think about. Uh, number one, okay. see if you can find any kinds of digestive issues. And if you can, see if you can link them up to when the rash flares up. And that'll tell you that your immune system is being activated secondary to some kind of food that you're eating. If you can't find okay. that, just go on regular digestive. If you, if you don't notice that you have digestive problems, look for them. It's always helpful to find okay. them. Just because you don't notice them doesn't mean you don't have them because, as I said before, they, uh, they tend to go under the radar. We just don't notice those things. So try to find them. If you can find them, that's helpful because then you can link them up to foods and eliminate those foods. If you can't find them, and then just go into regular digestive support. And, and not just for you, I'm not going to say, uh, I'm going to tell you this now, Joan, but I'm saying this to everybody out there. And I've been in the skincare business for many years. The skin is an immune system structure. Skin cells make immune chemicals. This should make perfect sense to anybody who understands even a tiny little bit about the body because the immune system is a defensive system and the skin is a defensive organ. So you have large concentrations of immune, or a large amount of immune, of immune defensive activity in the skin skin.